Here we are uh, in front of the newly built boa enclosure. So this is six by two by two feet. The boas between like six and eight feet haven't measured her yet um, because she's not super handleable. If you haven't seen, here's a couple of highlights from when I actually uh, acquired this animal. Okay, wait. Okay, uh, that's that's how she is. Now it's actually two weeks later recording the, or I built, this was built two weeks ago. I got her three weeks ago. So there's been some time and I'm just kind of recording this late. I was at Emerald Isle for a week and I used those two weeks to basically do minimal handling. Now, thankfully Ethan came over and cared for all of my other animals, but he left her be so that she just got a nice week off and could get used to the new enclosure. Now I just took a water bowl out to replace it. So it's just not in there right now. There's dirt kind of everywhere. I'm gonna have to keep that neat and clean, uh, but I'm going to get to the boa in just a bit. I'm going to take her out and handle her, see how she's changed. So that should be interesting. But first we can actually talk about the enclosure. So you could say that I just got the supplies and recorded it while my dad built it, but either way, it is built now. Uh, it's made completely out of melamine or melamine, whatever that white stuff is. There's also a layer of PVC sheet on the bottom. I think it's PVC, just plastic to keep it um, more waterproof from the wood and because I'm going to add heating. Now she has not had heating all of her life and I'm going to, she still doesn't have heating because I haven't ordered it yet. I think I'm going to do the heat tape. This eco earth inside, you can see all the supplies I'm using for all of my animals down in the links in the description. I don't actually have a kit put together for her because there's like two things in here that you could buy. Actually just one, just the dirt. And that's the only thing you can buy on Amazon from this. There's two doors on the front, which, I really don't need to open it. You can, that's self-explanatory. This is just, um, what's it called? Acrylic on the front on each side so you can see in. And I'm going to, it's very dark in there right now. I have studio lights on just to record the video, but I'm thinking of getting some LED strips and adding them to the top because she doesn't need heating from above if I add a heat mat or heat tape. Um, so I don't know, I could just do some like, some LED RGB lighting, because why not? And just add some cool strips in there that uh, can't harm her and that just look cool so that we can actually tell day from night because it low-key triggers me when people do not put a day and night cycle on 100% of reptiles. Uh, there's, there's probably some reptile that really does not need a day and night cycle, but none that I can think of. So anyway, there we go. Um, it took two days to complete one day of buying stuff. So about a three day project. Oh, there goes my light battery. Wow, that might go out again, but who cares, whatever. Um, and it costed 
$120, I think, altogether. So not too bad. My goal is to keep it around like below $150 probably. So there goes the light again. <laughs> not the first video, you probably saw how crazy she was, kind of like in our highlight reel here. And that's the only time that you've seen her here on YouTube. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you would have actually seen some changes beforehand because I put her on my story and made a post about her. If you're not following her on Instagram, pause right now and go follow. I have been opening the door and just hanging out with her, letting her do what she wants. And she pretty much just comes out, chills out a little bit, uh, kind of licks you, just, or licks me because you're not in the room. That's, I guess that's it. It's really not much, but it's much better than, than this. So baby steps, right? Now I haven't tried, like I said, I have not, I've touched her on the back. She was, eh, she was iffy about it. Then I touched her on the head. She was like, no thanks. Um, and so now we can go ahead and handler. Well, um, Let's keep her face a bit away. Is this even the same snake? I'm not entirely sure. There were quite a few people that were confident that she would never be okay with handling. This is my first time handling her in two weeks and <laughs> I look like, look. So the biggest tip I got was to make sure I don't use my neck as an anchor point because they are pretty strong. So I'm trying to keep her, if I can lift her up, <laughs> her actual body's around my waist and then she's just right around the back here. Don't fall. I'm just gonna be awkwardly in like the most weird positions, but I probably should not be this comfortable with her being near my face, but I don't know. She's been very calm for like 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. It feels really cool too. Again, I am very new at this. Don't just copy what I'm doing in this scenario with a snake this size. I am experimenting and learning the ropes myself, so I'm not responsible if something goes wrong. But very rarely do they, especially with a, this type of snake, just like a boa constrictor. Might be a little different if you have like an angry rock python, but I'm not in that world right now. It, it just makes me more depressed because, I mean, overall it's definitely a good thing, but in a way it makes me sad because she was in the other enclosure for so long and she could have been exploring and enjoying. She could have been a class pet that like, people handled on a daily basis and hung out with and like, became part of the class, but uh, that didn't happen. Now it's, I'm sure it's a good thing that I waited a few weeks, so um, that was probably the biggest piece of advice that a lot of people gave was to make sure she really got time to adjust to the enclosure, because I'm sure that that had quite a big effect on just how well she does. So I took her out so that I could immediately hop on the scale, and if she started panicking, there would be time to place her down on the ground to work with her there, um, or just get a better hold. And she hissed for like half a second to a second when I just put my arms under her body to get her out of the enclosure. And after that, I tried to do everything swiftly and hopefully confidently, I don't know, did it look confident? Uh, to just get her up into my arms. And then from there, she's just been like this the entire time. Uh, I walked up and down the stairs with her. She is, it's, it's a workout. So, yoink! <laughs> Here's a full body shot. As you can see, I've got my little fanny pack going. And the problem is she keeps going behind my back. She's going near the enclosure, so she slides off. It's, it's a really nice face massage, actually. There we go, what else is there to talk about? So if you look at this experience right here one way, it's assuming that it's not a fluke and she doesn't just turn on me again, then that's great because she's gonna be way easier to make content on and stuff, but in a way, it kind of messed up my plan of having like a full series of taming her down <laughs> because it's like one episode into the series and we're already done start to finish, so. That concludes that series that never started. Uh, but of course, it's this is my preference. Uh, who knows, would I trust her around other people or like other kids? Definitely not right now. Now here's the question, when she starts tootling away, how well can I keep her wrinkled? Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> Was that her stomach? This is so not attractive. <laughs> so now she's starting to hiss. So we've had a nice little uh, session. I'm gonna go ahead and get her back in the enclosure.
Okay, well, I had a snake hook on hand, but uh, it was not necessary in this case. So, there we go. That, that went pretty well, right? I am literally out of breath from pulling her out of the room. You couldn't see most of it, because she actually pushed the camera out of the way, so I was just behind the camera pulling her over, because I have so many tripods and stuff in here that she was just having a grand old time coiling around it all. But uh, she's in, we're good. There we go, what do you think of the enclosure? What should I add to it? It's currently very boring. I forgot to add, I'm going to add some hiding places and stuff. Um, so people already probably commented that because they didn't watch the video all the way, but that's okay. And it looks like that'll be it. More stuff on the boat soon if you're interested, so make sure to let me know if that's something you want to see. Again, follow on Instagram if you want to see more pictures and stuff. I'm about to hit 10,000 followers there, so that'll be cool. And thank you so much for 60,000 subscribers. I hit that while I was at the beach. That's a lot of people. And if you want to see a bit of an interesting video before she calmed down, the day that we got her, we took advantage of that to make kind of a dumb video that I was not too much associated with, but I watched from afar by Ethan or Amazing Animal Adventure, so you can watch that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.